Hello and welcome to day five of our challenge of hope. I've had a slow start to my day. I had nightmares last night, terrible nightmares. I couldn't get back to sleep. I couldn't rest. I found myself fidgeting in bed. And by the time I got up, I was just trashed. Not a restful night's sleep whatsoever. And I know a lot of you are having nights like this as well. So I thought today I would discuss what a plan of action might be when we have those times. Because even in other times not so intense as this, these problems still come up. Now, we were taught when we were young that to if there was a fire drill, we, ha we would have a fire drill. So everybody in the family or everybody at school would know what they were supposed to do, where they were supposed to go, and what their roles in the process was. So think along those lines. When we have a, an emergency, um, an emotional emergency, I'm going to call it, or just a challenge, it's going to be good for us to know what to do to offset that. Instead of just trying to push through, which I think is what a lot of us do. So for me this morning, uh, the first thing that I did was I took a shower. It was, I think, 4.30 in the morning, something like that. But there is this connection with me, with washing, with cleansing, whatever is bothering me. If I'm mad, I go for a walk in the forest. If I'm stressed, I take a shower. It's, it's as if I can envision the, the stress and the bad dreams, whatever it is, washing off of me and going down the drain. To me, that's a good visual, and it's a physical attachment to that visual with actually seeing and feeling the water going down the drain. That was step one. Step two was to get on my fuzziest bathrobe, to feel like I was, I was being nurtured to feel hugged. I came downstairs and I got my coffee and I sat down and I wanted to find a meditation. So I went online to find a nice peaceful meditation, actually a meditation that was specific for peace because I was feeling tormented, you know, at that moment <clears throat> and just craving that, that peace. Well, the one that I found didn't work because there was um, let's just say it just went against my beliefs. So I realized it early on. I didn't try and push through it. Here, let me force myself to be peaceful. Yeah, that doesn't work. So I found something different that was more in alignment with what it was that I needed. I brought my coffee upstairs and um, had I had gotten my earphones because my husband was still in bed and as I was getting ready I was listening to some beautiful peaceful music. This also helps calm me down. And when my um, tummy gets a little fluttery, you know, I, I've talked about um, fear and that's what anxiety is. It's just another face of fear. So I know to take those deep breaths, those <sighs> because when we're in fight or flight, we do not stop to breathe deeply because we are running. And I needed to flip the switch back to my higher thinking. So I did my breathing and I also recognized that something else that helps me um, is to convinced my, uh, to help convince my brain that I'm safe is to eat something. Now this can be something as simple as chewing gum, or you could actually physically eat something. And um, so I went and, and got a, um, a leftover pancake out of the refrigerator and heated it up and put some, some homemade jam on it and had that for my, my breakfast with my coffee. 
So that was my go-to um, plan of action, was to physically wash and emotionally wash the stress off, was to do some meditation. I also prayed. Praying is very, very important for me. And then I ate something and I, I worked with my breathing. I also then got busy with, you know, putting on uh, a little bit of makeup here and getting my, my hair dry. It was successful. I feel much, much more peaceful right now. And I was able to have a separation between that waking up out of bed with that nightmare in my mind. I was able to put positive things in the path between that nightmare and where I'm at right now. So your challenge today is to devise a plan of action for when you find yourself in a situation of anxiety, depression, or panic. Nobody's going to know what would work best for you other than you. You can certainly go online and listen to me. You can take some advice of other people, but only if it's in alignment with you and what it is that you need. Having something planned out, like your escape route. If there was an earthquake, what are you going to do? If there's a fire, what are you going to do? What your emergency plan of action is. Have one of those for yourself for when you get in that type of a situation. So that is your challenge for today. You know, also realize that we cannot control the madness that's out there. We just can't. It's the coronavirus is going to run its course. Whatever else is going on is going to run its course. We can only control so much. Our, our sphere of influence and what goes on up here. This really is what we can control. We only need the tools to understand how to, how our brain works and how to make it work for us instead of against us. I'll be talking more about that another time. Just know that you can release that. Do what's right for you. Pushing through isn't necessarily going to be good for you or good for anybody else. Address your feelings, address your fears, your anxieties, and give yourself a plan of action and take those steps that are going to work for you. And it's okay if you try something and it doesn't work. You know what? Check. We know that one's not working. This is what research and development is. So just keep trying until you find that ideal plan of action. All right. That is it for today. I am Wendy at Willow in the Wood. And I did want to mention that tomorrow is Sunday. I'm not going to be posting a video like this on Sunday. I don't believe in working on the Sabbath. However, I will schedule something that I have previously uh, recorded for you that I hope is helpful. And we'll jump back in on Monday. All right. So have a blessed day. It's definitely possible. Good things are coming. They're getting more and more information out there. We're going to have what it is that we need so that we can continue our lives. Right now, we have a unique opportunity with this pause so that when the gates are opened again, we're going to know where to go and what to do. And we won't necessarily have to just jump into those roles we were in before. We've got a choice just like you have a choice to have a great day. This is Wendy at Willow in the Wood. Have a blessed day.